guys, welcome back to another video of Reading with Abby. Today we're going to be reading The Bad Guys in Mission Applicable Book 2. The Bad Guys in Mission Applicable by Aaron Blavy. News flash. Panic at the dog at, at the dog pound. We interrupt this program to bring you a breaking news story. Tiffany Fluffett is our reporter on the scene. Tiffany, what can you tell us? Thanks, Chuck. Well, there have been shocking scenes at the dog pound today. It seems some kind of crazed gang burst burst in, smashed down a wall, and then drove away in a very loud hot rod car, causing 200 terrified puppy dogs to run away in fright. I have with me Mr. Graham Plunker, Chief of the Dog Pound Security. Mr. Plunker, how would you describe these monsters? Oh, uh, well, it all happened so fast, but I'm pretty sure there were four of them. I mean, there was definitely a wolf, a really mean looking wolf with uh, pointy teeth. And there was a snake, a very ugly snake, who also seemed very cranky for some reason. Oh, uh, then there was a young lady, or possibly a, a gigantic shark. It was hard to tell which. Oh yeah. And there was also some kind of nasty little fish. Maybe a sardine? Not sure. But Mr. Plunker, would you say that these villains seem dangerous? Oh yes, Tiffany. They're dangerous, all right. In fact, I say we're, we are dealing with some serious bad guys. Chapter one. Okay, let's try that again. What's that guy talking about? We saved those puppy dogs. It was a rescue. We're the good guys here. And for the last time, I'm not a sardine. I'm a piranha. Munch, munch, munch. Sea wolf, no one is ever going to believe we're good guys. I'm getting out of here before the cops come looking for us. Oh no, you don't, Mr. Snake. We're not going to quit now. We're just getting started. Don't forget how good it felt to rescue those dogs. We, All we need to, to do now is make sure that everyone can see that we're heroes. We just need to do something so awesome that the whole world will sit up and take notice. What did you have in mind, Mr. Wolf? This, Sunnyside Chicken Farm. You want us to break into a chicken farm? Chickens? Did you say chickens? A chicken farm? But that little chicky looks happy. She doesn't need to be rescued. Oh, really? Well, well, take a look inside Sunnyside Chicken Farm, fellas. 10,000 chickens stuffed into tiny cages 24 hours a day with no sunlight and no room to run and play. But that's awful. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. What are we waiting for? We need to set those little cheeky babies free. Let's go, 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 let's go. What's up with Mr. Snake? I don't know. I guess he just really loves chickens. Well, hello. Are you okay, man? Huh? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was just thinking that chickens are delicious. I mean, delightful. And I think we need to save them all right now. Oh, if only it were that simple, my friend. 
but I'm afraid I have some bad news. Sunnyside Chicken Farm is impossible to break into. It's a maximum security chicken farm with steel walls that are 30 feet high and 8 feet thick. There are no windows and all the doors are heavily guarded. And even if you did get inside, you'd be caught instantly because if you touch the floor, an alarm goes off. If you touch the walls, an alarm goes off. And if you walk into the laser beams, an alarm goes off. Floor alarms, wall alarms, laser alarms. Did you say laser beams? Why are you even showing us this, Chico? We don't have the skills to pull off a job like this. No, we don't. But I know a guy who does. Who? Me! Chapter 2. The Freaky Geek. Hey, dudes! It's totally awesome to meet you! Ay, Ron Chicos, it's a tarantula! Can't breathe, freaking out, don't like spiders, can't breathe! Are you kidding? I'm sorry about this, Legs. I don't know what's wrong with them. Oh, uh, it's cool, happens all the time. Legs? Legs, you know this monster. What were you thinking, bringing it? Bringing a, a tarantula into our clubhouse. Can't breathe, spider. Mommy, mommy, I want my mommy. Mr. Shark, pull yourself together. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Legs is just like us. He's a good guy with a bad reputation. Aw, uh, thanks, Wolfie. He's dangerous, man. Yeah, and why isn't he wearing any pants? I don't do pants, dude. I like to feel free. I can't breathe. No pants. Freaking out. Okie dokie. Legs, why don't you, why don't you show them what you can do? Okay. Let's start with something simple. Tap, 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 tap. Access granted. Name: Mr. Snake. Status. Very dangerous. Action. Do not approach. Hey, that's my police file. Jeez, they don't like you very much, do they? But nobody can access that. There's no way you can hack into their system. That's the toughest security there is. Yeah, it is kind of tricky. But it's worth it just to see you smile, Mr. Snakes. Access granted. Name, Mr. Snake. Status, very lovable. Action, give him a hug. Ta-da! That's impossible! Not for a super hacker like Legs. He... He's a computer genius, and he has a plan that will get us inside that chicken farm. Thanks, Wolfie. But first, I better put this back the way I found it. We are good guys, after all. And I wouldn't like to get us in trouble. Sorry, Mr. Snake. You're dangerous again, I'm afraid. Hey. This is so cool, guys. I'm so happy to be part of the team. And I bet by this time tomorrow, we're totally going to be besties. Spider with no pants on my head. Faint spot. Hey, Chico, I got one word for you. Pants! Chapter 3. Mission like totally impossible. Okay, dudes, I took your advice and found myself some clothes. What do you think? I can still see his big furry butt. Cut it out, Piranha. Just listen to him, okay? Okay. To get you guys inside Sunnyside Chicken Farm, 
all I need to do is hack into their main computer and switch off all the alarms. But there's a problem. The security is so high that I can't do it from here. I need you guys to plug this thing into their computer so I can access it. Once you do that, I can shut it all down and get you those chickens. Wait a minute. You're telling, you're telling us that you can hack into my police file, but you can't get into a chicken farm without our help? Yeah, it's weird. This is one scary chicken farm, dude. But... If it's so scary, how do we get to the computer? Wolf we'll said there's no way into the building. Well, there is one way, but it sure isn't easy. There's a small hatch on the roof. You need to go through the hatch and drop 150 feet on a rope to the computer below. Once you get to it, just plug me in. But if you touch the walls or the floor, the alarms will go off and you'll get caught. That's it? That doesn't sound so bad. I'm not finished. Once you plug me in, you have to climb back up the rope, crawl through the air vent, and follow the tunnel to the chicken cages. Like I said, that doesn't sound so bad. I'm still not finished. You see, before you reach the chicken cages, you'll come to the laser beams, and if you touch one, the alarm will go off. Oh, and they'll sap you, and they really hurt. But why are the lasers still on? I thought you were gonna going to shut down all the alarms. I will. The other alarms will be off, but the laser alarms can only be turned off by hand. You have to flick the switch. You have to flick a switch once you're inside. So we just switch them off. Yep. That still doesn't sound so bad. That's because I'm still not finished. The switch is on the other side of the laser beams, so you have to go through them to reach it. You finished yet? Uh, yep. Good, because that sounds loco. There's no way we can pull this off, man. Oh, yes, we can, but only if we work as a team. So, Snake and Piranha, you guys are coming with me. We are going to get inside, plug this thing into the computer, and get to those chickens. This is going to be great. But what about me? You're going to be working with me, big guy. It's our job to get these guys in and out of there safely. Isn't this awesome? You and I are going to spend a lot of time together. Oh, that's great. But I think I'm going to cry. No time for tears, Mr. Shark. We've got chickens to save. Chapter 4 down the hatch. Hey, what are you guys doing all the way over there? Later that night. We look ridiculous. Hey, Tarantula, what's with the dumb suits? Shh, not so loud, Mr. Piranha. These suits are great. They'll keep you cool and make you really hard to spot. Plus, each suit has a microphone and earpiece so we can all talk to each other. Got it? Hey, Wolf, do you really promise there'll be, there, there'll be chickens down there? It's a chicken farm. Of course there'll be chickens. Why are you so worried about that? Oh. No reason. I just really love chickens, man. They're so nice to eat. I mean, they're so nice to meet. Yeah. You do understand that we're here to save the chickens, don't you? Uh-huh. 
And why? And you wouldn't try to eat any chickens, would you? Uh huh. Hey, can we just do this? My jumpsuit is chafing. Okay, Mr. Shark, you know what to do. Gently lower us on the count of three. One, two, three! Okay, okay, okay. Well, the walls are a little closer than I expected. Mr. Shark, whatever you do, make sure you lower us slowly. I hear you. Boing! Do you need a hand, big buddy? <laughs> Shark! That takes a lot! Grab. Boing. Dango, dango, dango. Whoa, that was close. I caramba, Mr. Wolf. Has anyone ever told you that your face looks like a butt? What? Oh, sorry, my mistake. Hey, look, the computer. I think I can reach it. This is going to be easier than I thought. Now, just a little closer and we can plug this thing in. Just a little closer. Uh, whoa. <laughs> hey, he didn't see us. Why didn't he see us? Shh, I don't know. He must have really bad eyesight. Um, okay. Suggestions on what we do now? Are you kidding? We get out of here, shark. Shark, abort, abort. Pull us up now. Okie dokie. No, wait. Look what he's eating, chicos. That's a sardine sandwich. I think I have an idea. Piranha? You're not going to do anything crazy, are you? Crazy? Crazy is what I bring to the party. Chico, uh, wish me luck. Boing. Piranha, no! Splat. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Click. I don't believe it. He did it. He sure did. Dudes, I'm in. And... The alarms are off. I repeat, the alarms are off. You are safe to enter the air vent. Piranha, I can't reach you. You'll have to jump. No, Mr. Wolf. This was a one-way ticket, Chico. What? We can't just leave you behind. You have to, hermanos. There is no other way. Go and save those little chickens, man. Save them for me. Wolf, snap out of it. Shark, pull us up. You got it. Hurry up, man. Just get in the vent, will ya? Look at him down there. What a brave little guy. He sacrificed himself for us. Adios, chicos. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I'm starving. I mean, I'm starting to want to save some chickens. Yep. Oh, you're right. We should go. Adios, Mr. Piranha. Stay safe. Easy for you to say, baby. Chapter 5. Mind the gap. See, Mr. Snake, this is what I've been talking about. Without Mr. Piranha, we would never have made it this far. That's what being on a team is all about. Cooperation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so interesting. But where are the chickens, ma'am? Just up ahead, I'd say. This bit has been a lot easier than I thought. I really don't know what all the fuss was about. Jeez, if I were you, I'd try not to look down. All I can see is down. Hey, 
I have an idea. Why don't you stay here? I'll go and eat. I mean, greet those chickens. No, I'm slipping. I can't hold on. You have to help me. Really? That's a bit annoying. Annoying? If you don't help me, I'm going to die. Wow, it's always me, me, me with you, isn't it? Oh, no. Slip, slip. Grab. Hey, wait a second. That's better. Better? How is this better? You need to go on a diet, man. You really do. Now let's think. What do we do? We're trapped. It's not just me that's trapped. And it's not just you. It's us. We're trapped as a team. So we need to get out of this as a team. I've got it. Now whatever you do, little buddy, don't let go. See, what did I tell you? Isn't teamwork just great? Chapter 6. Let's start over. That's not good. Piranha, can you hear me? Mr. Shark, is that you? I'm about to be monkey's lunch here, man. You sit tight, Mr. P. I'm coming to get you. Boing. Boing. Uh, Boing. Can I help, big fella? Ah, please don't. Can't breathe. Please don't. I really please don't. Can't breathe. Hey, what's your problem, dude? Really? scared of spiders. Uh-huh. And why is that? It's okay. You can tell me. Okay, well, you're freaky to look at because you have too many eyes and too many legs and I'm so and I'm so creeped out by you that I might throw up. But I'm sorry if that sounds rude. It's okay. No, really. I feel terrible saying that. You must think I'm awful. No, that's okay. You seem like a nice guy. But can I ask you one little thing? Yes, of course. Well, since I can't help being a tarantula in the same way that you can't help being a massive, terrifying sea monster, I wonder if you could just get over it. And then maybe I could help you rescue your friend. Um, okay. I'm sorry, that was really uncool. It's okay, that's, that's good advice. Well, um, how are we going to rescue that piranha? I've heard you're pretty good at disguises, is that right? I have my moments. Okay, well, I'm really good at making stuff, so why don't we work together? Okay, but what kind of disguise is going to get me inside a chicken farm? Why don't you pull the feathers out of those pillows there, Mr. Shark, and I'll tell you my idea. Chapter 7. Trust me, I'm a snake. Oh no, look at those laser beams. I'll never get through. I think we have a problem. Oh no, 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 no. There's no problem. I'll fit through those lasers. I'll just have to handle this one alone. Are you sure? Oh, absolutely. I'll just wriggle. I'll just wriggle my way across and have a chicken face. I mean, I'll get those chickens released. Yeah, released. <laughs> but you'll switch off the. But you'll switch off the lasers when you get across. Yeah, yeah, sure, Mr. Snake. Uh-huh. This is your moment to do some good. Yep. I'm counting on you, buddy. Okie dokie. Go be a hero, Mr. Snake. Just a little farther. Ha! 
You made it! You're amazing! Now just switch off the laser so I can get across. Hmm, sir. Just give me a few minutes to find the switch. Take your time, little buddy. You rock! I'm just so proud of these guys. Jeez, it's been 15 minutes. Are you okay over there, Mr. Snake? Aha! He's done it! Whoa, it sure is dark in there. Psst, Mr. Snake, where are you? Oh, there you are. Is everything okay? <coughs> Mr. Snake, what are you doing over there in the dark? Behind all those empty cages. You sound funny, man. Are you okay? Oh no. Wait a minute. You didn't. Snake? What did you do? What? Oh my stars. Are you full of chickens? Hey, you two. Freeze! Oh, I don't think so. Snake, you are not going to ruin this plan. No, you are not. Hmm? Grab. grab. No, you are not. <laughs> Cough them up. I. Gunk. Gunk. Bunk. I trusted you! How could you do something so awful? I'm a snake man, what did you i I'm a snake man, what did you expect? No, Mr. Snake, you are a good guy, and you're not leaving this building without ten thousand healthy and happy chickens. Every single fluffy one of them. Are you feeling me? Chapter eight. Whole lot of chicken. Caramba! This is the end, amigos! Hey, Clive. One of the chickens escaped, but we've managed to catch it again. What? Whoa! That's a big one! Yeah, I wonder how it got out. Who knows, but let's get it back down to the cages. Oh, sorry I interrupted your lunch. Ah, uh, that's okay. I can eat it on the run. Much. Hey, Chico, what's up? Clive, your sardine is alive! Sardine? That's it, man. Now this little sandwich is going... To eat you! Yeah, I'm your worst nightmare, hombre! I'm a piranha burger with extra spice! Mr. Shark, is that you? Yep. Wow! I barely recognized you! Yeah, I know. I'm good at disguises. Woo! but they won't run. What's wrong with these dumb chickens? They're scared. Of what? Of the creep who tried to eat them. I, I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry won't help us now, Mr. Snake. What are we going to do? The chickens are terrified. They need someone to follow. They need someone to trust. They need... 
A mother hen! Wow, that's one big chicken. Alright girls, I know you're scared, but this is your one chance to get out of this horrible place. Do you understand? Good! Run little chickies, run! Then let's get out of here. Mr. Piranha, you're here. Are you okay? I'm completely coated with mayonnaise. I'm completely coated in mayonnaise. Oh, I see. It's not too bad, actually. I kind of like it. Oh, no. They're locking us in. Run! Wait, look. It's that guy up there. We'll never stop him in time. Door closing. We're trapped. This is the end! My chickens would never be free. Not if I can help it. Throw me at him. It's your only chance. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. This is my chance to do some good, Mr. Wolf. But throw me now or these chickens will never throw me now or these chickens will never be free. Do it. And don't miss. Got it? Got it. Zoom. Hi. Hi. Let's play a game. The first person to open the door doesn't get bitten by a snake. You win. Dunk. Dunk. Follow me, ladies. It worked. Now, can I ask you to please lock all the guards in behind us after we leave? Oh, and if you don't, I will find out where you live and you will find me in your bed in the middle of the night. Do we have a deal? Yes, we do. Marvelous. See, you're not see, you're not the only good guy around here. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Okay, let's hug some more escaping. Chapter nine. What a team. I am so proud of you guys. Ten thousand chickens are free because of you. I think we're starting to get the hang of this hero thing, fellas. And that means you too, Mr. Snake. Okay, Huggy Bear. Let's not make a great big big hairy deal out of it ah sure thing you old grouch let's get out of here but what happened to the car oh yeah while i was waiting for you guys to get back i fitted it with monster truck tires and a jet engine i hope you don't mind we, we don't, don't mind, mind. And I noticed that you seemed a little cramped in there, Mr. Shark, so I've modified your seat. If you don't like it, I can always put it back the way it was. I, I love it, Lex. You're very thoughtful. Thank you. Anytime, Mr. Shark. Anytime at all. I'm breathing. It's all good. I'm breathing. It's all good. I'm breathing. It's all good. Hey, did anybody else... Did Hey, did anybody else hear that? Crack, squeak. Hmm, it seems to be coming from that creepy old house next to the chicken farm that we somehow didn't notice. Perhaps it's a chicken that uh, that's lost its way. I didn't know chickens could squeak. Nope, bad mistake. There's nothing here. It's empty. Well, no, it's not completely empty. Look. Oh, look at the the little guinea pig. What are you doing here all alone? I think his name Marmalade Cute, isn't he? Well, Marmalade, we are the Good Guys Club, and we have come to set you free. To take care, you take care, little Marmalade, and enjoy your freedom. See you, little guy.
good guys? And just because they call themselves good guys, they think they can break into my chicken farm and set my chickens free? And they think they can get away with it? Well, we'll see about that. I shall make them pay. Oh, yes. I shall make them pay. <laughs> the bad guys are doing some good, whether you want them to or not. Don't miss their first hero heroic adventure, breaking every last dog out of the pound. All right, guys, this is the end of the bat of the bad guys in Mission Applicable Book Two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Bye.